Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Satisfactory. And as you can see, I'm uh, doing a little bit of work here. I decided uh, that using the conveyor lifts might not be able to keep up once we go with production because we're trying to merge two heavily produ productive lines going down to one container to get split up. So I basically just mirroring the same thing I have down below up top here. And that is what I'm doing. I'm also planning on uh, uh, stepping things up a, a little a bit of a notch here too. Uh, I was checking out the miners and I was checking out our production, what our production requirements are. Uh, the, the six miners that are over here are doing, sorry, uh, 30 ore a minute. And then the three that are on the side of the hill are doing 60 ore a minute. Uh, the plates require six, well, 30 ingots a minute. And then uh, the rods are 15 per minute. So what I can do is I can take the the 30 or a minute lines and double them up onto two separate lines. Or you know what I mean? The 30 or a minute miners have them each run two separate lines of rods. Uh, the screws actually require 40 rods a minute, so that's kind of on the pricey side, but. Uh, was I doing another container here? No, I wasn't. And, uh, my good friend Iron Man was around. Uh, also, I'll remind, remind you all that they are my uh, channel's top supporter. Thank you. I'm sorry. Uh, I can't talk today. Uh, I love this thing. It's awesome. I want to try to get some stuff going for this thing today. Uh, it's good. We are going to need some reinforced plates. We do have a lot of stock here. Uh, Iron Hand came, came on to the came on for a bit, helped me do a little bit of paving over there, uh, helped me clear out a ton of trees to get some biomass going because uh, I'm going to need a lot of power going. Also, the developers snuck in a little update here and uh, Iron Hand showed me this little trick. I never actually knew about the slide, but that's fun little thing. Oh, it almost went off. The dropship is in. They fixed it. And I logged into the world and the thing dropped down, so we get to see the animation of that. That's an interesting and interesting bug and it's because I skipped the tutorial. Uh, but yeah, so what I want to do is I want to take the miners that are coming in, split them up. So the, the three that are over here, uh, two of those are going to be split up to do the plates. And then, yeah, I'll have two of those split up to do two plates of lines. I could probably get all six plate lines going off on that. And then those ones over there are going to be doing like rods and everything else, the copper. I should be able to actually double those up, no problem. Uh, so I got plenty of concrete on me. Uh, I do have to check the go pop, check the power situation. We'll go check that out. And uh, yeah, I didn't know about being able to go under conveyors like this. That was pretty cool. But yeah, you look at this, and like the belts aren't even moving. So this one here can definitely do more. I believe. No, this one up here is the one coming from the back of the hill. So there's definitely room for expansion, but let's go check the miner here quickly. Uh, I can't wait till I get the jetpack. <laughs> or, uh, the generator, not the miner. Okay, fuel's doing good. I've tried to double this up. Did I? What did I do this thing? Oh yeah, I upgraded this conveyor belt here. This is actually a Mark II now. Uh, those things are expensive. I try not to avoid them. Or try not to use them. By the way, there's the iron hand. Uh, they were on the in my game for a little bit and they kinda, when they logged out they kinda stayed there. Uh, it is getting dark so I'm gonna go ahead and start building up some structure maybe try to get their staircase going and pass the night away and I'll be back in the morning. Oh yeah another thing I ended up doing too is uh, unlock, d doing some research. Uh, ended up getting level 2 logistics and uh, I never actually used these before. These are actually pretty cool. Uh, they're actually technically ladders. You can build it up top like this, and you don't have to worry about building stairs or anything like that. You can go ahead and climb up top, and there you are. You're up onto your next level. So that's pretty cool. In fact, screw the conveyor belt. I might just use these things, and I'll figure it out. But anyways, I shall bring you back. Yeah, I thought I'd bring this one back. I'm actually uh, I think I might post this on a subreddit or something like that. But I thought I'd, I was coming to pick up the concrete. That's about all I got right there, but i uh, almost done. But I came down to check on the, uh, the limestone. <laughs> I didn't know what to think. And then I remembered, oh yeah, I'm in the experimental build. It is limestone though. It's not hurting me. 
Produce some limestone. Anyway, I thought I'd just show you that one. That was pretty funny. Okay, I am done. So let's have a good look at it. And I'm a little high up or almost in the flight path of the big giant ray. Wow, that's big. Oh, that's a drop off. So as you can see, I put a uh, conveyor poles up there for now, just for, not conveyor poles, uh, is that what they're called? Yeah, com stackable conveyor poles as uh, ladders for now, until we get the, the hyper tubes. It's actually relatively easy getting on and off, so I don't have to worry about the unforeseeable, let's call it. So now what I'm gonna do is basically what you see here, I'm gonna double, uh, replicate that on the next two floors up, and then we'll get it hooked up to the system. Okay, I'm back, and I'm just setting up the last two uh, two constructors now. That's for the cables and all oh, that uh, screws, and this will be for the cable. So that is it. I have everything wired up, everything is configured, and uh, we're probably gonna end up blowing the power grid. I have no idea how much we're gonna use. It's uh, I ran out of fuel too, so I don't know if we're gonna do anything. No. I'm going to tell me what my usage is, and I'm sure it's through the roof. Uh, yeah, I also got to be careful with these uh, so-called ladders. You can't just expect to grab onto it when you hit the ladder. You actually have to push up to actually uh, grab onto it. But let's go up here and uh, see what I've created. <gasps> oh, my God. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of concrete I put into this thing. It's getting there. I was wondering if I probably could have come down one more, one more level, but I don't know if those containers would have fit. But there we go. Uh, that was uh, me just checking things down below, so I didn't have to <laughs> risk breaking my neck going down with these cheap ladders. Uh, this is just temporary until we get the tubes going. All right, so now, now it's. Ooh, I thought that was gonna hurt. It's a matter of getting the conveyors all set. Uh, I don't know if we're going to go get the other ones connected just yet, but let's go over here and see what we're dealing with here. And yes, it does actually go faster. And, since we don't have that one extra miner there, or that one extra miner we're not actually using, we might actually be able to make this really efficient. So these two lines here are 60. Okay, so they're going into the plate line. So what I need to do is I need to take these ones here and split them up between these two refiners here, actually. No, these ones are going up. They're gonna go up to the top. <laughs> I just took a look at this, it was like, what have I done? Anyway, uh, now the question is, how am I gonna do that? I think what I'm gonna do, I wonder if you can, uh, let me see if I can sidestep on it there, there we go. I wonder if you can actually place these down over top of Like where an existing conveyor is. You can, apparently. So. Yeah, I don't, and I know there's only so high they can go. If I can get up there, let's actually give that a shot. Let's see if I can get the line up here. Uh, oh, I can put it on top. Hey, okay, it's centered too. Alright, now it's a guessing game. How high do I have to go? Actually, I could could count. Let's go do let's go do that for a quick second here. Do 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 do. Oh, it's over here. I just gotta figure out how many there are for the level. So one. Not very consistent. Looks like two maybe. It seems to be two. Well, let's see here. One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So in theory, if I go at twelve, that should work. Let's go check that out. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to get this set up, and uh, what I'll do is I'll put a 
a splitter at the end and then have a lifter going up hopefully to the next level and we'll go from there. So here's what I'm thinking and it works. Uh, had to go pretty steep because uh, the belt can only be so long. So yeah that is that. So now I'm going to repeat that four more times. Uh, I'm going to take the second line there which is on the outside there and I'll bring it up to those two up top and then I got the third one and what I might do because the plate line needs a lot the third 60 I'll put over uh, split up on these two and then I'll take two of the singles I don't know if it's gonna be these two or those two uh, but I'll have them independent on there and then since this is all rods I could split whatever's left split these two there might be one or two over there, and I still got the two over there by the copper. Oh, I didn't mean to do a little bunch there. Uh, but yeah, I got two iron over there I can grab as well. Uh, so, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat that, but before I do that, something I, I keep thinking about. Get out of my way. Anyway, no, not that. I'm sorry, Iron Hand. I don't mean that. Please don't. Please don't pull your support. Uh, yeah, out of fuel. Out of fuel, but they did still make money. Uh, I want to see if this limestone over here is glowing bright pink, which is weird because it's just a white texture, sort of whitish texture. And this one's fine. I wonder if it's got something to do with the miner bean on it. See, that's not bright pink. Huh. Anyway, I shall return. Huh. Weird. It's over at the iron mines, too. Now it feels like an alien planet. It's almost like I was going to get radiation poisoning from this. Uh, oh, hang on. Or it looked a little weird. Anyway. Well. There it is. And believe it or not, it took about a week in-game to get this done. And a lot of materials. But there we go. So uh, the way I've got it set up is those, those three miners over there that are doing the 60 or a minute are doing those plates, those plates, and these plates here. As you can tell by these junctions here. Uh, these plates here are just being fed by these 30 or, or a minute. So they'll actually just handle it on their own and then this side here is the rods and screws and of course uh, two of them are being split up on this side two of the ones over there are being split up on the top here and and the copper the copper was still 15 ingots a minute on the, the wire so this should actually hold up now the question is how many more generators do you think I need to get this going I have six I'm not using the ones on the hub, just in case you're wondering. Go ahead and leave your comments below. Need another second or two? Yeah, just leave it in the comments. Make leave leave a guess. See how many more we need. I have absolutely no more more we need, but I know how many I'm gonna add, and I'm sure you all do. So let's do it. Okay. So uh, let's actually make sure I got enough parts for this. Uh, no, I do. Good. Uh, I'm just gonna throw another six down, just because. All right, let's. Uh, guess they don't all always face the same way, do they? Oh well. We'll just do it that way. Eh? So one, a two, a th three, four. And this is just until we get to coal. Five and six. Okay, so now the power situation. So let's see, that was the only one connection. So I think what I'm going to do is just do this. So one, two, uh, three. And then you do not have. No, you're full. You're full. And uh, yeah. I don't have to borrow that one. Oh, please. It doesn't even have any power. 
Wait, did I take the wrong one? No. I think it just intentionally makes that sound. Okay, so we'll put that there, and there, and there, and then I'll have to do another one, and there. So now let's fuel up these bad boys. I do fortunately have an entire chest full of fuel and no inventory space. And I have took those containers away. Ah, <sighs> inventory management, isn't that great? Okay, uh, that's not a container, that's a container. Okay. Oh, uh, dump everything in there. And take all that, not that I need it all, but. Let's see how we're, let's see what kind of damage we can do. Okay, fuel that up, fuel that up, fuel that up. Yeah, as soon as we find coal, we're gonna have to find as much as we can. Might have to tap every node that we, that is available, and we are almost done. So if each one of these Pass these 270, it says. Oh, it goes up as I fuel, so 360. Okay. Uh, here we go. Now that means nothing, because not all the machines are running yet. The constructors still aren't even running yet. So let's go up top and have a low look and see, watch it all happen and watch the smoke pillow out of the top of this, this eyesore. <laughs> you know what? Can I build it? Uh, I can't. No, I can't. can't afford it. I'm broke. I'm poor. Yeah, let's go see if we get the watchtower up. Uh, let me do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, put it on a little bit of a <clears throat> platform here. And I, of course, put the ladder on the wrong side. So, let's go see what kind of damage I've done. Eh, not bad. To start, anyways, make sure it's all connected. I have done the same thing with that down at the bottom, where I've had the little part of the conveyor sticking out. Uh, it's a shame that the animation is so low frame rate when you're at a distance but I understand optimizations and all that stuff uh, let me check my recording time here okay we have still got a little bit of time what I think we can do is uh, one thing we actually do have to do start getting into is start making a smart plating for the space elevator let's check the power here so as you can see we climbed up to 240 already uh, it's about to change because we're going to start building some assemblers uh, wonder do I want to make one or two? I want to make two of these. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to start making make reinforced plating. Uh, is this a good spot for? I think so. I think I'm gonna end up moving the elevator at some point in time too. So we got screws here, we got plates here, and we got screws there and plates there and screws there and plates there and screws there and plates there. So we got plenty. As long as I keep those generators running. Now, does this take the full tile? It does. Uh oh. Hmm. That does not please me. Oh well. We work with it. Okay, place one there and place one there. Yeah. That's fine. So now it's just a matter of piping this stuff in, and this is more or less why I've got so many of these things going in. So I think I think what we're gonna do is check the recipe, see what the recipe calls for. See, the smart plating is a rotor and reinforced plating, so we might have to get a rotor going too, which is gonna be rods and screws. Uh, maybe. Everything is still running, alright? Okay. 
Yeah, it's quiet. I can't hear anything. <laughs> I thought both the only thing I really care about is the concrete is being made. Because I'm thinking about ex having to extend this. Because what I might do is get some reinforced plating going on down here. And then on the next foot, we'll get the, the rotors going. So it's just a matter of me getting everything connected. So let me do that, and I will bring you back. Just came by to get some more concrete. And I just had a look at the conveyors, and they're, they're moving. That's good. Okay, so I've been thinking about this, and uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get enough out there. Oh. <laughs> I was wondering why the plate, plates weren't going through, but they did. And I put that in the wrong spot, goddammit. I was lining up the conveyor port, but I was lining up with that. That's fine, I'll fix it in this second here. And that could have been a little higher. Whatever. Uh, but yeah, needless to say, uh, this I need 60 screws a minute. We're making 40 per minute on the machines. So I more or less need both of these to get this running. Uh, the rotors, they actually need 100 screws a minute. 100 screws per minute plus the 5 rods, which or the 20 rods, which is... Yeah, it's kind of hindering too because we're doing 15 rods per minute. So this is probably going to end up taking two more frames or two more plates. Probably take these two up here and take these two rods and funnel them into here. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm all done. This is all set up. The only thing left to do is get them set up in the containers and this rocks in my way. That's fine. I just have to put the containers off somewhere else. Uh, this one I will stay lined up with it. Uh, yeah, oranges in. I'm gonna place it. Oh, come on. There we go. See, it's almost like I knew what I was doing. Not really. Anyway, uh, so we'll do that. Now I should have be able to get this conveyor in. Yes. And uh, there. And then, do you know what's next? I'm sure you do. Uh, I don't. Uh, no. Uh, another assembler. Because now we're going to take those and we're going to turn them into, yes, smart plating. It's just temporary. Uh, I don't know if we're going to need more down the road, but maybe we should start producing it. Okay. Uh, you know what? That's actually out of place. Uh, right on the line. There we go. Sorry. Then, okay, let's see. Those are coming out. Good. And those go in there, like that. So, uh, the other two are already set up for uh, reinforced iron plates and loaders. And here, we get this set up for smart plating. So two rotors per minute, two reinforced plate per minute. We are doing five per minute and four. So that's good. At least we'll have a surplus with the smart plate. Now the only thing left to do is cripple the power supply. Uh, let's see here. Power pole, power pole. Uh, since we got three, we'll put one there. We'll connect that to there, that to there that to there and uh, who's gonna be the lucky guest here can I borrow you thank you so these are doing their thing this stuff is piling in slowly uh, and here comes the first part let's watch him come out you know, it'd be nice if the developers could actually add the model of what was actually being crafted inside the assembler. I like how they changed the model of that. Actually, looks better. I know the uh, rotors look different too, but you know what I mean. It's almost like it's making the the modular frames. Even then, it, you can watch it. it. Doesn't look like it's making a rotor. And you know what? I just realized something. What do I have on me? I do. Uh, uh. Hmm. Nope, nope. Only one I have to upgrade. Yes, we have to actually upgrade some conveyor belts here. Because the amount of screws that this thing needs. 
So upgrade you. Uh, these don't have to be upgraded because they're doing 60. This has to do 100. So I gotta upgrade that to a Mark II pole. Yeah, I can't afford it. Well, guess what? Just happen to be making those things. You got all sorts of new sounds too. That was really cool. Here it goes. Uh, okay. Can I upgrade it now? Uh, three more. Three more. Three more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Did I not put a, con a conveyor on this? Or a container on this? I did, but guess what? No conveyor belt. Uh, I'll take you. I need two more. I'll be right back. Okay, I got it. Alright, so now... All we have to do is just upgrade this, I do believe. And then I guess the uh, thing, so we got two at 60 per minute coming in and 120 coming out. And that should be enough to actually supply this whole thing. But the screws are going to be the problem, because right here, 100 minute per minute, this could do 120. So it all should be good. Look at them pile in. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we need 50 plating for the first tier to hub upgrade. I'm really hoping it gives us the tubes. So I got two. It takes two per minute. Ooh. Yeah, this could be a little bit. So since I'm running short on time here, I think I'm gonna end the episode and uh, I think next one we'll take care of our first shipment up in space there and maybe we'll see what other stuff we can mass produce. Uh, we might actually clean those iron nodes there. We might actually need them and maybe have a look for some more copper if I hit the right button. I think there's only... Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, I think there's just the two. There's a third one somewhere. There you go. That's a little ways. Not exactly in, uh, easily accessible. Most easily accessible of areas. But yeah, it's going to be basically be like half an hour before we get what we need. I cannot actually craft these by hand. That has to be done in here. So with that, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.